everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Optimate charger. This is going to be your Optimate 6 smart charger for your 12 and your 24 volt batteries. So this is going to help out with some different battery needs. So you have your automatic battery charger, you have your tester, you have your maintainer for your 12 volt and 24 volt lead acid batteries. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of how to use this charger to help out with your battery needs. It's very simple. It seems complicated at first, but that's what this video is for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this and connect it to our battery. So the first thing I like to do is disconnect our battery. If you have a disconnect switch in your trailer, go ahead and press that. In our case, we can't access it, so I'm gonna disconnect it manually. So starting with our negative terminal, I'm just gonna disconnect this. With this now off, there we go. Make sure that it's secured and then you're gonna take off your positive terminal as well. From here, you can either connect your clamps or you can connect your ring terminals, but you have to disconnect your battery. Step number one, plug this in. So if you have your big trailer, you have your big truck, usually you're outside of your garage, just run an extension cord from your garage to your charger. So now our charger's on. This is when you select your settings. So whether you have a 12 volt battery or a 24 volt battery, that's when you go through your different settings and select, we have a 12 volt, so that's where we are. To further explain, as you cycle through the different options, you have different voltages. So make sure to select the correct voltage for your battery. Follow the instructions with that's given with Optimate to figure out what your battery has. Once you've made your selection and you've saved it, you can now proceed to charge. So you have two different options here. You can either charge using your ring terminals or you can use the clamps. I highly recommend using the ring terminals, especially when you wanna use this over a long period of time and you wanna make sure it doesn't disconnect accidentally from your battery. This is good for if it's hard to reach or hard to get access to, so just make sure you choose which one fits your own situation. Notice our plug here though, on the side of our Optimate charger, we have this plug and then it goes either into our clamps or our ring terminals. I really like the dust cover we have over here because it's not only a dust cover, it's also a sleeve. Once you have them plugged in, you can then see how it covers all of your connection here and then protects that, which is helpful, especially if you have this outside. What our ring terminals have that our clamps do not is this safety fuse. So this is helpful, especially if you have this on your battery for a longer period of time. You wanna make sure you have all those protections. That's gonna be step number two. So step number two is all about the different protections and the safety protocols that come in handy when you have your battery connected. So if you have your voltage is incorrect, it's gonna have a warning sign. If you have a reverse polarity, there's gonna be warnings there too. So again, check your instructions. You're gonna have those different lights light up depending on what type of error there's gonna be. So once you do connect it, if none of the errors pop up, it's gonna prepare to charge. So there's gonna be a one to two second delay where it determines what charge it needs to do. Step number four happens if your battery is diagnosed as having less than 50% charge or if your battery is sulfated, it will go into save mode. So save mode is where it tries to save the battery, tries to charge it up, helps out with that um, sulfated battery. That's not our case right over here. So we're gonna look at the next step. When I first plug it in, it entered into step number five, which is charge. That's when your battery reaches at least 50% charge or it's been helped from step number four. This goes from your 50 to 75% of charge. And then after that, it optimizes. So that's step number six. That's where we are right now. So right now in optimize, it is equalizing our individual cells. It's optimizing our charge level. Note that when you go through step four, five, and six, we do have a safety limit of 72 hours. So usually you should be able to hit optimal charge within 72 hours, but if not, that might still be a thing, just reconnect later. Once you reach full charge, it's now going to step seven, which is your test after your charge. 
So what this does is it interrupts your charging every 30 minutes just to allow the program to see if your battery is retaining charge. If your green light is on, you're good to go. And finally, step number eight, that's going to be the Optimate or your Smart Maintain, which is really the whole point of this battery charger. This is what's maintaining your battery. It helps prevent sulfation of your battery as well. You see how it's green here. If your battery drops down to below 90%, that green light is going to turn off and lets you know as well that your battery isn't at full charge and may need some help. So hopefully this helped you out with using your Optimate charger. Again, if you're confused about the different lights, if you're not sure what the different error codes are, that's gonna be what your instructions are for. But hopefully this video helped you out as a visual guide through the whole process. It's very simple, very easy, just connect and you're ready to charge. And that was a look right here at our Optimate 6 Smart Charger for your 12 volt and 24 volt batteries right here at eTrailer. My name is Evie Angeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.